Are you looking for a stripper? A stripper that really gets it off? Then watch this. Poopers, the stripper that gets it off every time. I'll just put a bit more on here. Okay guys, what we're doing today is we're going to be stripping a tongue groove door. You never know exactly when we do the scoop at the front, how much is going to come right off. That's what come off there. And um, just spray some more on here. That had about eight minutes of, of soak time before I took that off. So this is right from the start. So that's our stripper and that's on. What we're going to do now is have it work its way through. And you'll notice our stripper is really thin, and we make it thin so that it absorbs. Now we're coming to you today live from the Tauranga Home Show, so we may get a few people pop in, so um, say hi. Um, who knows, that's, that's what live's all about. So, what we're going to do here is just test a little bit more. Just give it a, another moment or two. Feel free to ask questions, guys. That's what we're here for. My wife um, does this lip syncing to me, and I haven't got a clue what she's talking about. Now, when we take paint off, we use a, a light dragging action. Normally, people use a, a trowel like this, and they, they push it off. But what happens, you end up digging into it. Um, what I like to do is to drag it off. So we that way there's less chance of damaging. Now, this little blade here, if we zoom in on here, it's got these two edges, these two long and two short edges, and they're quite, they've got a curve to them, which means you're not going to gouge in. But it's got these extensions on the end, which I mean you can actually zip on down. Yeah. And we're not pushing hard. If you push hard you end up slipping off and having a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Now, on our guide, it talks about keeping the surface wet. Now, on our um, broad knife here, we've got a um, little storage in here. And um, what we do there is we use it to lightly scribe down where the joint is. We don't do this at the start, we do it about now when everything's sort of softening up. Because this door's obviously made up of these different planks that are all joined together. Now, one of the things we're trying to achieve with these programs is we're here to teach and show you how we do it our way. Um, what we're asking you guys to do is to share it. Share it anywhere in the world. This product is um, supplied worldwide. And uh, so if you've got, at the moment, apparently it's um, 6 o'clock in New York, 10 or 11 o'clock in um, London, uh, 8 o'clock in Australia, which is why we're having the program at this time. So if you want to share it with anyone around the world, we'd really appreciate it. In some parts, I suppose. There are a few other parts. <laughs> now. Now I'm just going to, on this part, move on to part two of the guide. And I'll show you the guide. I've got it stashed back here. So far, so far here, what we've done is part one, which is stripping what's on the surface. And you'll notice that's coloured red, as is part two, and that's to go with the red liquid. Um, 
So we've taken off what's on the surface, now we're going to get into the grain itself. We have this claim of no sanding, and, and that's because the person that made this door actually sanded it for you. And, um, and the sandpaper marks are still all there, and we're just going to reuse them. So, what we're going to do each day as well is, I want Dory to show you the map of, of New Zealand up over there. Look up there, Dory. client of ours in Wangarei took a door just like we're doing here today and she stripped New Zealand out of it so that's what New Zealand looks like and this is where we are right here Tauranga and they have a lot of sun and lots of kiwi fruit now back over to here we just do our little check The stripper is virtually pH neutral, so it's very mild, but there is no paint or varnish that we've ever found that it won't take off. So, now we do is we get our steel wool. This is a European steel wool, it's a very long stranded sharp wool, and we give this a scrub. Here the crowd start to build, which is great. One of those products that makes the paint come off. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That makes me see that. That would make it look like that, yeah. Okay. So that's part two of the guide there. And now we move on to part three. And then the other one Which is where we use this blue one. So this is our flusher. And this is a, a rinse to get rid of the residues. So we, and also we've got this pad, which has um, got a grit in it, and it's, um, it gets into the little sandpaper marks, like a record player needle and a record. So you watch this, we, we spray, and then we scrub. Spray. Scrub. This is um, Rimu, part Rimu through there, a little bit sappier there, but it's all in really good order. And then we get one of our copper detail brushes. These are very soft bristle, and we use this for getting into the groove. So earlier I opened it all up with the um, broad knife. There. So then we'll get our frag. Spray scrub, spray white with the flush, and um, what you can often do too is grab a hold of the rag with that little saw edge. And you see it gets more stuff out of the grain. Um, and that is really, you can see the amount of material there. And um, so a lot of paint, and that'll be as smooth as, yep, smooth as baby's bum, as they say. It always feels weird saying it as a guy, but that's what the clients say. Okay, so that's that. I just want to see how that's gone over there. So you saw that one from the start. So. Pretty much 
quite fast. These sort of surfaces you'll find in laundries and in um, ceilings. Obviously this one's like in a kitchen or laundry cupboard door. We'll take the paint off any of the hardware. Okay, now while that's working, I just want to show you a wood finish. You can finish this now with anything you like. You can go straight on to a finish without, without sanding. You don't have to, um, you can use paint, polyurethane, anything like oils. Um, you don't have to do any preparation for it. We have a finish um, called Moisturizer. Now this is, um, it's a blend of gum, oil and wax, and it's a lot like a, a skincare product. So what we do is we put it straight on. You don't have to wait before you put this on. If you were doing polyurethane or paint or something like that, you would have to um, probably wait a good hour or more until it's all completely, all the solvents have evaporated out. But if you're doing the moisturizer, you can do it straight away. Okay, so you just slap that on. You don't have to be good with the brush. It can be hot, cold, dusty, humid, doesn't matter. Put it on. It can be all over the place with the brush. It doesn't matter. Now, George, have we got a wax stick floating around? Sure. There's an opportunity here. So you get to this point here, and you look at it, and you see there's some white filler there, and also there. So that's just basically without digging a great big amount of gouging across it. That's the thing with live stream is you can't do take two. Only one colour today. Find me a black one anyway. Okay. This is a wax filler stick. It's what we uh, call friction filling. So I've dug out the hole, it's got the moisturizer on or slippery, and, um, and what we do is we vigorously rub it over the hole. If you have these in your pocket beforehand, in a plastic bag or sink, they fill the hole a bit quicker. This is 10 a.m. on the morning here in New Zealand, and it's a little bit chilly. That's about right. So the friction softens the wax and forces into the hole. This one here would be better in a black colour to go with a bit of rust that's around it. So, we um, put that on, give it a quick little scrub over, and the hole disappears. If you don't like the colour, dig it out and put another colour in. We've got, uh, I think, seven of the colours. Now, before I buff this off, um, we're not here trying to sell products, we're here showing you what to do. But of course, people will be interested in our products and where to buy them, etc. We do have a few retail stores in New Zealand, but um, around the world it's um, internet purchase. So you go to our website over there on the wall, though, um, cooperstripclub.com, and just go have a look at our store, ask questions, send photographs, and we'll um, help you through what you need and how to do it and all that sort of stuff. Our website's full of uh, tutorials and live stream videos, so knock yourself out. Okay, so you leave this for two days, you can leave it for longer if you want. Uh, I haven't got two days to give you today, so it doesn't dry over the two days. During that time, if it gets thirsty and you see parts of it have absorbed in, simply all you do is put more on, but when you think it's not drinking anymore, buff off the surplus. And that is smooth as, and that lasts forever, basically. Every now and again when it's looking a little bit thirsty, brush another coat of moisturizer on, leave it overnight, buff it off, and it's good for another round. I've got displays that are probably 30 years old with this product, and they're still looking, they're actually looking better than when they started. Um, and that's it. Now, before we go, um, today, as I said, it's Friday, so we're not doing live streams this weekend, but on Monday morning, we've got a rather special one. Um, 
with an interview with an interesting chap. So same time um, in three mornings time. So don't miss out. I'll just see how this has gone over here. So you can see, same thing. So we didn't have anything special or set up on the other side. So here we go. So, Tearing a Home Show, bring it on. <laughs>